it's Catherine here from the virtual training team and we're going to take a quick look at how to create a virtual background in PowerPoint that you can then upload to Microsoft Teams. Um, the principles of what we do today are exactly the same as if you wanted to create something to upload into Zoom as well but we're in Microsoft Teams today and just to get the file open that I need I'm just going to open up that right now. So this is the um, a file that you have if you've got a PC or a laptop and you've got Microsoft Teams then this file will be on your PC. We've got a whole other video that explains in entirety how to um, create virtual backgrounds. So let me just get that open for us so it's ready and take us over to PowerPoint. So as you can see I've used our logo to create a background and if I wanted to I could insert shape to change the color of the background so maybe let's see so a big square let's imagine that we wanted to change the background to a nice pale green I'm just going to send that to the back so it's just a square um oh that's blue not green anyway the point is our logo is on a white background so I'm going to stick with white if that's okay with you but you get the idea what we then need to do is just highlight or select all and do a right click and save it as a picture. So we're saving this as a picture. You'll be prompted to save it somewhere. I'm going to save it on my desktop and I'm going to call it VTT background. Yeah, replace it. Okay. So now what we need to do is if I just close that down, we've got the document open here, close me down and just find that document here. Okay, so here it is, VTT background. We just drag it into the uploads file and it's there. And so when I go back to Teams now and click on the three little dots to share my background effects, then you'll see that it's there waiting for me as it loads up as an option um, to put up there. But like I said, the same principles apply with Zoom and you can really get creative. You can have all sorts um, behind you. And if you're noticing that this is all in reverse, don't worry, when you're in Teams, this is what it looks like to you. But when you share this in a meeting, everyone else will see it the correct way around. Trust me.